Today we look at this multiple choice question. How many oxygen atoms are in 0.1 mole of copper sulfate 5H2O? Remembering that this is a multiple choice question and that no calculator is allowed. First you must note that 1 mole or the Avogadro's number is equal to 6.02 by 10 to the power of 23. And here in the case of copper sulfate, we are required to know how many atoms of oxygen are in 0.1 of a mole. So we note that there are 4 plus 5 times 1, 9 atoms of oxygen in hydrated copper sulfate or copper sulfate with water in it. And 0.1 moles multiplied by 9 atoms multiplied by the Avogadro's number, which represents one mole. And we must bear in mind that there is no calculator available. To solve, we multiply 0.1 by 9 to get 0.9, and then 0.9 multiplied by 6 approximates to 5.4, which means the answer should then be 5.4 by 10 to the power of 23 atoms of oxygen. And here we can see that that corresponds to the choice of D. Now you should try this question on your own. How many sodium ions are there in 3.1 grams of sodium oxide? And to solve this question, we need to first determine the formula of sodium oxide, noting that sodium belongs to group 1 of the periodic table and that oxygen belongs to group 16 of the periodic table. Oxygen having a valency of 2 and sodium a valency of 1 means that sodium oxide has the formula Na2O. So the formula mass for sodium oxide can be determined from the periodic table. Sodium with 23 and oxygen with 16. And then we can determine the relative formula mass of sodium oxide as shown here. 23 times 2 plus 16, which comes to 62 grams in one mole of sodium oxide. Next, we set up the calculation like this, noting that one mole is made up of 62 grams, and we have a sample of 3.1 grams, and that for every oxygen we have in every unit of sodium oxide, there are two sodium ions. So we have one mole, 62 grams, multiplied by 3.1 grams, which, the, which is the actual amount of mass that we have, multiplied by the two ions for the two sodium ions, and all of this multiplied by 6.02 by 10 to the power of 23, the total number that makes up one mole, this, the Avogadro's number. And here you can see that the grams cancels out with the grams, the moles cancels out with the moles, and then we just multiply to find the number of sodium ions, which in this case, and again without a calculator, we must realize that these two numbers can cancel to produce 1 20th, which is 0.05. And then 0 0.05 multiplied by 2 is 0 0.1. And that 0 0.1 multiplied by 6.02 by 10 to the power of 23 is 6.02 by 10 to the power of 22. And these are the kinds of questions that you can expect to solve without a calculator in IB Chemistry.